How long does an appeal take? This question, anytime an appeal comes up, it's, it's, it's always like the next question after what is an appeal. It's how long does it take? <laughs> very, very um, uh, routine question that we get. So um, again, we're talking about family law appeals. I'm a divorce and family law attorney in Florida. It's all I do, William S. Foley from William S. Foley PA. So we practice also family law appeals. No other types of appeals. Um, yeah, so don't call us about criminal appeals or any other stuff, just family law. So when we explain what the appellate procedure is, and we have another video on our website, wfoleylaw.com, about what an appeal is, this is how long does it take? Because that's, again, the, 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 the next question is, how long is this gonna take me? Is this, I, I file for an appeal, and then I, I get an automatic decision? No, no. Um, if, you know, if, if that's what you were thinking, then you should probably, you know, turn the video off. I mean, if you want to subscribe to my channel or like the video or, um, I don't know, comment on it and say that, you know, you like my jacket or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I guess you can do that first, but, uh, if you don't want to do that and you want to listen, um, it, it takes some time for an appeal. And, and the reason why it's 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 a specific setup process that you're supposed to file your notice of appeal within a specified time frame from that final order. Not going to go into that for this video. That's a whole other thing of what's considered a final order. But from that final order, you got 30 days to file your notice of appeal. Then there's all these different things that need to to happen. You know, there's transcripts that needs to be ordered. Uh, the court has to certify the record. It has to be sent to the, it in in our main office is in downtown Tampa, so we deal with a lot of second DCA cases. So there's different district courts of appeal throughout Florida, and then there's obviously the Florida Supreme Court. So that's the highest court um, in Florida. So you got the trial courts, you got the district court of appeals to heal, hear the appeals, and then you have the Florida Supreme Court. So you have these different rungs up the ladder for the court to be able to look at each one um, to make sure that you know it's checks and balances it's the district court of appeals is looking to make sure that there was not you know some form of error made by the trial court so when the trial court heard your trial and through litigation if there was an error made then that is somewhere that they can be able to come in and they can say that there was an error and then it gets remanded back for you know uh, additional litigation but again the process itself does take some time because it's not only that time period of filing the notice of appeal and doing those different things that we just talked about, but then you have to prepare and file the appellate brief, which is, you know, a monster brief that, you know, so much information and case law and arguments and things like that that go into it. It takes some time to prepare that. And then the other side gets to file their response brief. And then you get to file your reply to their resp response brief brief and a lot of times there's different extensions and there's all different things that go along within the appellate process that when it's finally when all that's done and you know the court of appeals has the transcripts and has the court file and has all these um briefs that were prepared and filed then they can look at it and sometimes they'll look at oral arguments and uh, but for the most part you know a lot of them are just based upon you know what's filed and then they make a decision and then they'll either affirm the case so affirm the trial court's decision or they will state what they're going to do and then you know you get an appellate decision which states you know whether it's remanded back and you know with instructions to the trial judge and why they made their decision a lot of times they'll put in you know relevant case law from what we've seen um that stating you know no this case was more specific to this set of circumstances or this this case should have been used as a guide um for the courts and the trial courts um determination of, of of the issue at the trial level so how long does it take um again we're, we're talking you know i i can't even fathom you know less than you know a few months three to six months you know with all these different things you know so in a lot of cases we're seeing you know a year you know sometimes more than a year for us to go through this entire um progression uh, through the appellate process. 
And that's just because there's so much that goes into it. So uh, again, you know, sometimes people are looking for a quick fix and they're, they're like, oh, well, I, I don't I don't like what, what happened in that. You know, and they'll call us up and they'll say, you know, do you guys do appeals? And, you know, is, is it going to change tomorrow? You know, are we going to file something? It's going to be, uh, no, <laughs> you know, just that, that's the, the thing to take out of this video is it is a process. It is something that it, it takes some time, uh, but it's an important checks and balances part of the legal system, which allows for the higher court to look and to see what happened in the trial court to make sure that there was no error made. So it does take some time, but that's just to ensure um, that the District Court of Appeals is able to, to look at everything. And then again, it can go up to the Florida Supreme Court as well uh, if the court um, takes the case on. So basically that's a little bit of information about how long an appeal takes on the family law side of things in Florida. Thank you.